Did you know that it is possible to ask anyone to choose a number between 1 and 10,000 and then bet them that you can guess what that number is with, um, oh, say, 20 guesses or so from a pool of 10,000 numbers to be able to guess the correct number with only 20 tries sounds almost impossible. Or is it? Pay attention. I think you just may like what you're about to see. Okay, first we're going to go through two simple examples just so you can get the hang of what's going on here before we tackle the 1 to 10,000 problem. Let's say that you ask a friend to choose any number 1 to 10 and then let's say that they choose 6. Now they don't tell you what the number is they've chosen. You have to figure it out yourself. But the rules are they have to use whole numbers only and after you make each guess they have to tell you if you need to go up or if you need to go down. The range we're dealing with here, 1 to 10, halfway up is 5. So 5 is your first guess. Then you're told, no, that's too low. You have to go up. All right, half, half of five is two and a half. So we have to do a little bit of rounding here. Uh, in this case, we'll round down. So you add two to your five, and you come up with a guess of seven. They tell you, no, you have to go down. All right, half of two is one. But because you're going down this time, we subtract 1. So 7 minus 1 is 6. And voila, there you go. That's what the number is. Now, let's try a little more complicated problem. We'll try 1 to 100. And for this example, we're using this side of the board. Halfway, they choose a number, and we'll assume they're going to choose the number 49. Halfway from 1 to 100 is 50, so that's your first choice, 50. You're told to go down. Half of 50 is 25. You see the minus sign? That means you go down 25, making your new guess also 25 at which point you're told to go up. Half of 25 with that rounding down thing is 12. So you add 12 to your 25 for a new guess of 37, which is still not high enough. You're told to go up. So half of 12 is 6. So you add 6 to the 37, which gives you 43. You're told again, no, you have to go up. So half of 6 is 3. 3 added to the 43 is 46. You're told to go up again, so you add 2 more, which is approximately half of 3. Actually, of course, it's 1.5, but we have this rounding thing, so you make it 2. 2 added to the 46 is 48. They're told again, no, you have to go up. Okay, so you add one more to your 48, you get 49, and there you go. That is the number we're seeking. Okay, now that you have this principle in mind, we're ready to go on to the 1 to 10,000 example. So now we're confronted with the problem of guessing a number between 1 and 10,000. For the purposes of this illustration, we'll say 
that the person has chosen 437. Okay, remember, the range of numbers you're working with is cut by half with each guess. So, with a range of 1 to 10,000, half of that would be 5,000. So that is your first guess, 5,000. You are then told, no, that's too high, you have to go down. So half of 5,000 is 2,500, so you subtract 2,500. So your guess is 2,500. You're told again, no, that's too high, you must go down. So now you cut the 2,500 in half and it's, you subtract 1,250, which gives you a guess of 1,250, at which point you're told, no, go down again. So now you subtract 625, which gives you a guess of 625, at which point you're told, no, go down again. So now with a little bit of a rounding thing, we subtract 312, which makes our next guess 313. And then we're told, no, that's too low, you have to go up. So now we know that the correct number is lower than 625, but it's higher than 313. So we take the 312, which was our last guess, or, or our last computation, we cut that in half and that gives us 156. We add that to the last guess, which gives us 469. And then we're told, no, that's too high, go down. So now we're subtracting 78, which makes our guess 391. Then we're told to go up. But now we're getting very, very close because from a pool of 10,000 numbers, we now know the correct answer lies somewhere between 391 and 469. So, half of 78 is 39, and we're going up, so you add 39 to 391, and that gives us 430. We're told, no, that's too low, go up, so we add 20, which is approximately half of 39, and that gives us 450. And we're told, no, go down, so half of 20 is 10. And we're going down, so we subtract to 10, which gives us 440. We're told, no, that's still too high, you have to go down. So half of 10 is 5. So we subtract the 5 from the 440, and we have a guess of 435, at which time we're told to go up. So now half of 5 is 2.5, but we have this rounding thing, so we add 2. 2 to the 435 gives us 437, and voila, that happens to be the number we're looking for. Out of a possible range of 10,000 numbers, you have zeroed in on the correct number using only 12 guesses, and that is pretty efficient. You can guess any number someone has in mind as long as, remember, you're using whole numbers, no fractions, no decimals allowed, and they have to tell you each time you make a guess whether you need to go up higher or lower. This is a neat little puzzle or a neat little practice but it's one you need to practice at a few times before you actually try it on someone. But once you get the hang of it, and once you get it down pat, this is one that you'll really like. And this is one that'll make, a, make you a winner when it comes to many bets. You take care now, and until next time.